Hey, so I'm back. <clears throat> Gonna do a get ready with me. Um, talk through, not talk through, but get ready with me. Chit chat. What would I chit chat about? What would I talk about? I ain't got nothing to talk about. This finna just be a get ready with me. <laughs> a get ready with me. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, that's it. Okay, so on this video, I'm gonna be using a new product and it's the Tarte Shape Tape. And it's in the color tan. This is my first time using it. I've been wanting to try this for a long time. Um, and then this is not new. This is just my MAC makeup that I have not worn in a very long time. And I'm wearing it today. My color is NC45. The Tarte Tape Shape is what I'm going to use for under, under eye concealing. But I'm going to still go in with my Naked um, Urban Decay Naked uh, Concealer. And I'm going to go in with the color Medium Dark here. And then the color Dark. I'm gonna go on top of my eyelids. It's my usual routine that I do with these two because this one's darker, this one's lighter. I just like that light highlight underneath my brow bone. But I'm gonna use the dark to conceal my eyelids. Some other products I'm gonna go in with is some MAC products that I picked up the other day. And as I'm using them, I'm gonna let y'all know what they are. I am in love with all three. Well, four, um, but I'm gonna let y'all know what they are as I go on. I just wanted to mention the first two that I'm gonna do. Going in with my concealer, my Morphe, of course. First, before I do that, I'm gonna prime my eyelids with my March Jacobs. I also use this same primer to um, do my whole face with. It just makes the makeup look so much better. Um, this primer is not cheap. You don't need an expensive primer like this. I promise you, especially if you're just not getting started doing makeup, you do not need a primer like this, okay? <laughs> um, the primer I used to use before this <clears throat> was by Maybelline, and uh, it worked just as good. Not just as good, but it was. I, I, I really love the matte um, mm -hmm. feeling that I get with my makeup. But um, I also will try to show that by the end of this video if I can figure out where it's at. But um, this helps make my face look really cute whenever I apply my makeup. It's not, it doesn't give a matte feel, but it does help my makeup. And what I mean by make it look cute, it makes it um, hold my foundation better on my face. Um, which, of course, because it's a high-end product. But um, this is how much I have left. When that run out, <laughs> I'ma pray that I go back and get some more. <laughs> like, yeah. This is the medium dark. I'm just putting it here, like I always do. On the back of my hand. And I'm also gonna go in with the dark and put that here okay just so y'all know what i'm doing step by step i'm just using the light right here under my eyebrows here if y'all can hear my mom and my baby in the background please disregard them <laughs> i tried to shut my door uh so that they can't be heard but he's known to be loud and so is she So I've already did my eyebrows off camera. I finished it up by concealing underneath and then I went up, up top with my MAC foundation. I go up top my eyebrows sometimes when I'm doing my makeup because I want I don't want to whenever I'm doing my makeup on my forehead. I don't want to get so close to my eyebrows because sometimes I'll accidentally hit my beauty blender on top of my eyebrow and then I almost lose my mind okay because I don't want to have to redo all of it especially if I got far in my makeup so what I did was this time because I, I have no room for mistakes <laughs> so I put my foundation up here and then I just go in in this area because I go back in later on and blend out the 
corners the inner corners of my eyebrows so that I can kind of just make them look more natural but now I'm just gonna color correct off camera and then also I'll come back on and put my foundation on so y'all can see since I've done other foundation off camera I'm gonna do this one off camera so that y'all can see um, what it looks like on against my face because this one is a little bit lighter than all of my other ones I think at least and so y'all get to see that, but it, it ends up at the end blending in like very good, especially when I go back in the contour. So I'm just going to go on my beauty blender and start applying. And y'all see what I'm talking about, about how it's like really light and yellow looking. Yeah, <clears throat> I know. Let me zoom out. There we go. So just going to go in and do this. Y'all know the deal. Nothing I haven't done before. And I promise you it's gonna look, it's gonna look right. <laughs> When I first used this foundation, I was like, man, like, I'm looking like a freaking, like a lemon head or like an orange head, you know? <laughs> Y'all know those fruits that talking like at the eyeballs and stuff. Like, I was like, ooh, I look like that. So like for a long time when I first bought this foundation, I did not wear it. Like I was just going in with my eyeshadow and didn't worry about putting on foundation. But um, when I started learning more how to contour my face, I was like, so it's not really like what I thought, you know. I think I was just tripping because I wasn't, I'm not really used to wearing, I wasn't, at the time I wasn't really used to wearing foundation. I, 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 I love foundation now. But like at the time I wasn't used to wearing foundation so like I didn't know how to, I didn't know how to take it, you know what I mean, like. And I think a lot of y'all know what I'm talking about. Like when you first start wearing foundation and you really don't understand the concept of like what your color is, you will have that feeling like, man, like I don't want to walk out the house looking crazy, you know? And that's exactly what I felt. So. Now I know for a fact that... That's just how it is. Now it ain't supposed to look orange. Like I don't know if you can tell if it does look orange on me or not. Ugh. But to me, I can. I mean, well, not now. Like it doesn't look orange to me now. Like the scarf I have on my head is orange, okay? But it kind of looked like a odd color to me when I first started wearing it. But that was because, like I said, I wasn't used to wearing foundation. Okay, so I'm now going to go in my Tarte Shape Tape underneath my eyes. The moment of church. Church. The moment of church. Yeah. The moment of church. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> the moment of truth. Okay. I've never used this before, but so bear with me. If I don't like it, I am probably going to scream on camera because I'm going to have to wash all this makeup off. And where I'm going to go, I'm going to go bare face, rough looking it. I don't even care. Okay. So let's see. Okay. Ooh, I love how thick it is. I'm putting it on dots like this because I had a feeling it was going to be thick. And it definitely is. But it's okay. Let's see how it blends out with my beauty blender. Now my beauty blender, this is my Real Techniques and it's um, dampened. Okay. Mmm, it smells good too. Okay. A 
it's definitely lighter than what I thought. I'm going to definitely have to tone this down a bit. But the coverage, oh my gosh, like, it's amazing. I'm doing this to kind of blend it some. Not blend it, but like kind of tone it down a bit because it's a little too much. It's a little too much. And I need to try to hurry up and do it before it. Because I don't know how it settles underneath. Okay. Not too bad. I'm finna go in my Laura Mercier powder because I need to set this like ASAP. My medium dark and my naked medium dark. Y'all know. <laughs> concealer and just go down my nose and up here and down here and then I'll be back on to finish recording okay y'all so I have already set the rest of my face what I'm doing now is just rubbing off the excess powder and now I'm going to Talk about those MAC products. Actually, I'm going to just talk about one right now. And as I use them, I'm going to talk about them. So this is a, um, this is a matte blush. It's a powder blush. And what I, is the name of it is Blunt. And what I use this for is, um, bronzing. So this is what it looks like. That's what it looks like. And I'm going to go in with my Morphe M, MB8. Y'all saw me use this brush before for mainly my blush. And I'm still going to go in and use it for blush. Except I'm using this blush as a bronzing. Because I'm really not going to contour with my liquid L'Oreal. I'm really just going to go in with this. I already worn this before and like I love 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 it I'm gonna go in with my usual Sephora blush that I use and it's the flirted up so boom my favorite MAC product that I am going to talk about is the it's their extra dimension blushes and the color is called hard to get and it's the blushes that have the metallic in it and the only reason why I'm not wearing this today is because what I'm wearing it does not go with this then my other favorite is the Old oh Darling is the name of it. And it's the Extra Dimension Skin Finish um, Highlighter. Y'all look at this. I wore this in the Mac store. I fell in love. I wore this like pretty much almost every day that I go somewhere. <laughs> and I'm going to wear it now. Okay. So, and I know I haven't did my eyes yet, but it's because I'm going for a very natural look. 
it's a MAC shadow in the color saddle and all I'm going to do is concentrate that all on top of my lids and in this area here and I'm going to put that on here in a second well actually I'm going to put that on first and then I'm going to put this on because when I put that on that's it I'm done so I'm just putting it all on my lid and all in here and it's just going to give me just not an, I don't know if this is considered a natural. It's considered natural to me because I just don't go in and put all the other stuff that I usually put. But I am wearing false lashes today because whenever I go in with just something as simple as this, I like to put lashes but no lashes but no um no liner except the under eye liner is all i'm gonna do okay so, look that's it i'm gonna go in with this so that it can start drying before i put on my lashes So I'm gonna just go back in here and just kinda make my eyebrows come back to life. Now, I'm gonna go in with my MAC Oh Darling highlighter. And I'm gonna put that all up here. And I'm also going to highlight, I'm going to highlight my um, brow bone with this too. It just looks so gorgeous. Down my nose. here That is too cute. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Makeup Geek. And I told y'all this is what I use for my daytime. Um, my daytime whenever I want to just look wide awake. Okay. This is the final look. Um, all I did was uh, when I went in with my highlight and then I went um, to my under eye with the Makeup Geek. Um, oh, with the Makeup Geek um, Nude Eyeliner. Um, that's all I did. I'm going to give my camera a chance to adjust. Um, so that's pretty much all I did. Um, and then also, that ain't all I did. Y'all see this lipstick on my lips. <laughs> I went in with, this was the other product that I was telling y'all about, about that I got from MAC. And it's the Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color and it's High Drama. Y'all. This lipstick is not my favorite, but I love the color. I love how it goes when you first put it on. After wearing this color for a long time, it does crumble up because it's that Metro, Metro, Metro PCS, <laughs> Retro Matte. Um, and so it, I notice a lot of Retro Mattes, um, they dry real quick and depending on how long you wear it, it will like... I say crumble up because like in the corners and like down here and up here it'll get so dry and that it fall off and it gets on my teeth so I'm always mindful and I keep a mirror with me and I'm fine with that because this color is just to die for um, and it's not all that bad I've had worse um, so yeah this is what I have on my lips the other um, the other thing I did was I put on lashes I told y'all I was gonna do that 
and for the sake of time I didn't want to do that on camera y'all saw me put on lashes before if y'all want to see me do lashes uh, eyebrow video or lash video um, let me know and I will do a separate video for those things um, so that I'm not you know trying to do too much in one to where I have to cut time off because I'm um, I don't want to make like a long long video so I always just try to cut off time by turning the camera off and doing stuff that I know I put out on my other videos so um, whenever y'all want me to do something that y'all want me to like really go in detail on just all you gotta do is like the video comment down below um, on the video and let me know um, also subscribe um, and also I'll be leaving the products that I use um, from the makeup to the lashes which the lashes I get from beauty supply store so um, I don't know what in, in depending on what area you live in I don't know if they sell these same lashes but I'm sure you can find some similar I'll put all of that in the description box um, the description box all you gotta do is underneath the video there's a little um, arrow underneath and you just click that down click on that arrow and it'll tell you everything that I use in the video tell me what y'all think about this look it's very simple y'all saw I didn't do nothing to my eyes let me zoom in and close my eyes I did nothing all I did was put saddle also I went in with my y'all know I couldn't resist the inner corner of my eyes <laughs> I went in here and I went in here um, and then I put mascara on my bottom lashes. I love putting mascara on my bottom lashes. It just makes the look come all together. And then, of course, I did something cute to my hair. I'm rocking my own locks this time. Um, it won't be long because I don't rock my hair long. Um, especially when I do perm. <laughs> um, but the color I went in with my inner corner of my eyes is this color right here. I always point to that one because this is really my favorite color but this is my second favorite because I love gold and I went in with this color right here um, in the inner corners of my eyes and then I went in and sprayed fix plus all over all over my face and yeah slick the hair back what did I slick my hair back with um, slick my hair back with some jam and brushed it back so that's all on this video. I hope y'all enjoy it. Please like, comment, subscribe again, and I'll talk to y'all next time. Bye.